गुड इवनिंग Thunder. Two minutes and fifty-five seconds. That's how late you are for our meeting. In the Defense Force, disciplinary action would be warranted. As a penalty, one hundred seventy-five push-ups or eighty-seven point five one-handed push-ups would be required. How do you do point five of a one-handed push-up? In the Defense Force, asking such silly questions would warrant double punishment. But it's not my duty to oversee the conduct of private citizens, nor is it my purpose in coming here. You're the proxy Shepard recommended. Remember, this conversation never happened. You've never met me, and what I'm about to say is confidential. You can call me Soldier Eleven of the Defense Forces Obsidian Division. Shepard has given me your information, so it's only right I'm upfront about my identity. Hmm. Seems the client still has reservations. Soldier Eleven must be a code name, right? So she must have a real name, Lucy, Mary, Lucy Marie, or something. Those sound like names you would hear in an old Civilization cowboy film. Is it? Be quiet. The client is about to explain the commission. Shepard tells me you're a highly skilled wanderer from the South with no local ties, previously active under the name Crimson Twilight. Crimson Twilight? Oh, right, that's me. <sighs> Unbelievable. Is that what Shepard thinks is a cool name after all these years in the business? To keep it brief, my mission is simple: catch a mole. We've recently identified a spy among our unit from a nearby rebel force who isn't yet aware his identity has been exposed. My superiors want me to use this spy to locate the rebels and eliminate them all at once. I will execute the plan myself and pretend to defect from the defense force to make contact with the spy. My fake defection is going well so far. I've made contact with them discreetly, but they've yet to completely trust me. But the operation isn't without merit. We've learned the spy is a great admirer of an industry-renowned proxy. With that proxy's support, he'd be willing to take the next step immediately to involve me in his secret missions, which will allow me to meet his superiors. And that's where you come in. I need you to pretend to be this proxy and help me follow the spy's instructions. Can you do this, Crimson Darkness? I need to pretend I'm a proxy. What's their name? I don't know much about civilians, but even I've heard the name, Faithen. What an unexpected challenge! Pretending to be Faithen. That's a job Faithen has yet to take on. Searching, pretending to be myself online. Zero results found. Related results. I sell myself. I hit myself. I kill. How useful, fairy! I can't imagine life without you. Is everything all right, Crimson Gloom? You look troubled. Are you sure you remember my name? I understand you likely feel a lot of pressure having to pretend to be Faithen, but Shepard would stake his career on your abilities. So I know you won't let me, the Defense Force, and the people of New Eridu down. So relax. That doesn't make me want to relax. I've posted the encrypted commission details on Internet. That's how you normally do things, right? I'll contact you after you've checked the details and accepted the commission. Good job, Belle. Soldier Eleven didn't seem to realize you live here. I never thought we'd get a commission from the new Eridu Defense Force. Not to mention something top secret like catching a mole. It's bound to be dangerous. What's the plan? Do you want to do it, 
Or should we decline and leave Shepard to his own luck? If we nail this commission, we'll get to establish a connection with the new Eridu Defense Force. It's a rare networking opportunity. That's true. The commission is already uploaded on Internaut. Check it out when you make up your mind, Bell. I shall follow your orders. Standing by. Good day, Croc. Get going. The spy will come online in five seconds. He goes by the name Mr. Mole. Five, four, three, two. Mr. Mole, I have brought Phaethon. I'm sure you're close by. If it's convenient, why don't we discuss this in person so we can begin the operation immediately? I want to leave the Defense Force as soon as possible. I plan to buy a blackcurrant farm with your payment. Then spend the rest of my days with my canine Thyron maid in the tranquil countryside. Okay, compared to Soldier Eleven's backstory, Crimson Twilight sounds perfectly plausible. You're very quiet. I thought you'd always admired Phaethon. <laughs> I can't see you through remote communication, but uh, I smell deception. <laughs> uh, there's no free lunch in this city. A legendary proxy like Phaethon has had numerous achievements throughout their career. <laughs> There's no way someone like that would work with a nobody like me. Not on a trivial chore like stealing military info. <laughs> you call that trivial? We're not lying. If I'm not Phaethon, for the rest of my life, may my instant noodles always be missing the seasoning packets. Fire Lizard Inferno Extra Spicy Cup Noodles without its seasoning packet is like... like a soldier without their weapon, general, or homeland. Unimaginable. We understand your sincerity now. Bap, bap, bap. Wait a moment. I'm just not feeling it. The Defense Force is going to conduct weapons testing in this hollow. To show your good faith, I want you to help me set up military transmitters around the area. You talk the talk. But if you want me to believe you're the real Phaethon, you'll have to walk the walk. We need to deploy transmitters here. We have three target locations in total. It's up to you where to place them. Deploy the transmit. Fairy now computing. Proxy, you're not really faith in at all, are you? <sighs> So quiet. Say something. At least deny it. A clean and efficient job. Well done. Phaethon saves the day again. Dispelling a client's doubts with mere words should be a cinch for a, a legendary proxy like you, right? 
That sounds like something better suited for therapy. Mr. Mole. What have you got to say? I'm hurt. You're being quite rude, despite me putting in all this effort to get Faith in here. Suspicious and probing. That's no way to show respect to such a legendary proxy. In fact, I really didn't want to bring it up, but I paid a staggering price to get Faith in here. So I want this collaboration to work more than anyone else here. <clears throat> right, Faithen? Yes, I was very impressed. Especially with the point five of a one-handed push-up. What? Sergeant, you... Uh, you're right. I should have known. Why would someone like Faithen want to work with me? Uh, I never would have guessed it was you, Sergeant, making such a sacrifice. <laughs> My attitude is unacceptable. The cost isn't important. It's the result that matters. Such is the life of a soldier. There's no time to lose, Faithen. Time to place the next beacon. And all thanks to you. We may have dispelled some doubt, but it looks like we haven't earned his complete trust yet. All thanks to Soldier Eleven. Bell, we can't let our guard down just yet. Careful. Betrayal is our enemy's nature. Extracting carrot data. A legendary valve status. Deploy the trans... Soldier or left soldier? Enough. No need to talk. Just do it. Fairy now computing. Setup complete. Let's go to the next location. data.
Mr. Mohanast. Memo. Is there a problem with the connection? <laughs> Even a legendary proxy like me can understand the client being occasionally mistrustful. Faith, uh, proxy, you understand? It's only human to be curious. After all, as Faithen. All right, the day's last challenge. Memo.
that's that. Excellent. Splendid. I never imagined agents and proxies could work so efficiently and seamlessly together. This is a piece of cake for Faithen. Do you believe me now? Am I? Uh, am I dreaming? I'm working with a real faith in right now. <sighs> it's like I've been crawling in the gloom my whole life. Then today, the sun sheds a beam of light on my face. <laughs> Calm down, Mr. Mole. Now that that's done, I suppose our actual mission can proceed. We'll take care of things on our end. Wait for me to contact you. Be quick. I'll give the sergeant her farm-like dream, and I'll try to get the highest payment for Phaethon. <laughs> now that we're done talking business, can I ask you something? Was it really you who infiltrated the Tops Vault through a sub-hollow? And then at the old Institute site, that perfect exit... I'd love to tell you, but some matters are confidential. I'm sure you understand. Oh, okay. See you next time, then. I'll miss you. Um, uh, I have a favor to ask. Next time we meet, uh, can I please get your autograph? Or uh, could you record a wake-up call for your little mole? <laughs> Did he just hang up? What a loud mouth. He's a lot more chatty than I expected after he let his guard down. Anyway, let's get out of the hollow. That was a pretty smooth escape. That was pretty hairy. That went better than expected. I didn't use even half of the lines I prepared beforehand. Like, Faithen can sneak into anywhere with complete stealth. Not even a door sensor or infrared faucet could detect Faithen. Hang on, hang on. I thought we agreed to remove that line from the list. I was worried when Shepard endorsed you. But you're pretty good. Well done, Proxy. I'll contact you when the spy starts to move.
Good evening, Proxy. You're 35 seconds late. You can save those 17.5 one-handed push-ups for now. There's been some changes to our mission. What's changed? Mr. Mole has a condition. He wants me to carry out this mission alone, instead of with his and his rebels' support. Since we've got the famous faith in, one person should be enough to handle it, is what he said. Hang on. That's fine if everything goes smoothly, but what if it doesn't? Affirmative. If we get caught, people will think Soldier Eleven is a traitor. Master, we should suggest the client reevaluate the risk. From a professional perspective, I suggest you reevaluate the risk. I said yes. You agreed? After considering it, with how cautious the rebels are being, saying no at this point would undoubtedly alarm them. There is no greater sin than betrayal. I'm willing to risk my life to find the traitor and bring them to justice. Then, prepare to get your hands dirty. Right. I'm ready to go. I shall follow your orders. Standing by. Huh? Oh, to what do I owe the pleasure? According to Soldier Eleven, how did Mr. the Autonomous Support Unit Lightfoot Rover. What a pain. We'll need to take down the main body, or else it'll continuously send drones after us. Copy that. that. Yes, Master. Supporting fire. In position. This is the gate's emergency switch. Just press here. <sighs> Broken. Initiating backup plan. Come on, follow me. Focused. Forget the ethereals. This is it. Come over here. All right, we're here. The info the spy asked us to steal is right here. Where exactly is... Here, I can't see anything. Exactly. That's the effect I'm after.
The Rebels want info on our armaments, specifically data on one of the Defense Force's secret experimental weapons. The weapon itself was abandoned in this hollow after being damaged in an accident. Everything about it is top secret. If anyone outside the Defense Force, like you, were to ever see what it looked like, even just the damaged body, I'd have to arrange constant surveillance on you to ensure nothing related to it ever leaked. Gotcha. I'll close my eyes. It is exactly because you are my support that I need to make sure you don't see it. Ignorance will protect you. I'll finish this next part alone. Wait for me here. Oh, and search for an escape route. Not the way we came, but a different path. Hmm. So cautious. Seems whatever Mr. Mole wants is something really important. Why does Soldier Eleven want us to search for other escape routes? Wouldn't it be faster to leave the way we came? Searching for an alternative path. Due to a large amount of corrupted intelligent machinery, the percentage of invalid data is abnormally high. I will require more time for an accurate calculation. Calculate in the background, Fairy. The client is back. Get down, and cover your ears. Ears covered. Three, two, one. Obedient soldiers live longer. You've got some quick reflexes. Well done. I extracted the data we needed from the damaged experimental weapon. Provided the remains weren't entirely corrupted, such an action would activate its confidentiality procedure and start a self-destruct sequence. And that's exactly what happened. It was a loyal soldier, worthy of the defense force. Such a big explosion will attract enemies, though. It's not just the enemy I'm concerned about. My unit is wrapping up testing on a weapons experiment nearby. If the sound of the explosion leads unwitting teammates to follow the same path, recognize me, and thus question my loyalty. Perhaps you can't relate, but in the military, loyalty is everything. That's why I wanted you to search for other escape routes. I don't want to be seen by anyone else right now. So, did you find another path? Negative. 38.65% remaining until an accurate calculation. But I can guide you as far as the area I've finished calculating. We're working on it. Excellent. Let's move. The way back is no longer safe. Help us find another exit if you would, Proxy. If memory serves, let's try this way. Warning, high energy is... Impressive. You maintain... You can surely beat your sec... Fighting our time also sounds like a good option. Warning. High energy. Impressive. You can surely... Please note, an active military communication beacon was detected at this location. Presumably, a defense force I can use its communication network data to enhance the efficiency of my calculations, and thusly more quickly locate an escape route. Suggestion, reach this location by any means necessary. Um, isn't this a defense force communications beacon? Speaking of which, I've been thinking. 
What do you need? Hmm. Use the Defense Force's communication beacon to assist in searching for an escape route from the Hollow. Very well. If it actually works. Are you sure? Communication data is highly sensitive. The Defense Force constantly cleans and updates it. The data in this beacon is probably outdated. If the real Faithen were here, they might be able to find some traces of confidential info on it. Luckily, you're just an imposter, so I don't have to worry about leaked secrets. I'm actually quite surprised it can be used to find an escape route. Uh, I have mixed emotions. Was that a compliment or an insult? Challenge accepted. I will even obtain the Defense Force Commander-in-Chief's lock screen password. When did you become so competitive? Don't make things complicated. Just calculate the escape route. Comparing network data to filter out redundant information. New hollow escape route located. Filtering out redundant information. New hollow exit located. You can sure. This bang boo, is that how you use it? Warning. Impressive, you can sure. This is just a fake. The real faith in must be terrifying. Autonomous support unit, Heavy Striker. Its ether shield can withstand most light attacks. Attack from behind. My identity remains a secret. It's all thanks to you, Burgundy Silhouette. Don't give us too many aliases now. They won't all fit on the card. So... You're People wear gloves when their hands might get dirty. I'm just a glove for the Defense Force. Stains on a glove are no big deal. Don't mind me asking, but... What about your own thoughts? Betrayal is disgusting, but in the current circumstances, bearing this disgust is, in itself, a kind of true loyalty. Even if covered in this filth, I'd never mistake myself for a true traitor, if that's what you're asking.
The operation is tonight. The spy has arranged a meeting between me and the rebel leader. I just need you to get me to the designated location. Got it. So you're ready to close the net? That doesn't concern civilians. The Defense Force has dispatched their elite. The rebels cannot be allowed to escape. We mustn't delay. Let's move out. And well done. What did I do? You aren't late. He smiled. Does me being on time make you that happy? Does that surprise you? Lots of things make me smile. Combat merits, promotions, the blood of traitors, extra spicy noodles, and comrades I can work with for a long time. I look forward to working with you again, Crimson Twilight, but do not betray my trust, or your punishment will be by my own hand. I'm at your disposal. Ready for combat. Huh? <gasps> Don't look at me. I have two. Standing by. Good day, Proxy. with the traitor is just ahead. Warning, unknown threat detected. Something's off, Proxy. Stay alert. Mr. Mole, Faithen has guided me to the meeting place, but your leader isn't here. There are soldiers everywhere. What's going on? <laughs> Does my laughter sound full of rage, Sergeant? Because I can hardly contain my anger! You dare take advantage of my admiration for faith in with this imposter! Calm down, Mr. Mole. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't treat me like a fool! I know you don't intend to defect! Does the name Crimson Twilight sound familiar to you? Not really. You see, the crafty broker Shepard's intelligence network has long since been compromised. I'm not interested in personal grudges between intelligence brokers, of course. All you need to know is... This is the end for you! We don't wage wars unprepared. I don't expect bugs scavenging in the dirt to understand matters of military integrity. What are you talking about? You're not the only ones who planned ahead. Our elite soldiers are on their way right now. Surrender your weapons while you can. Otherwise, you'll become nothing but martyrs. Trigger, current position status. What? It's not going through. Don't bother, Sergeant and Imposter! I'm sure you're familiar with signal jamming, right? This equipment belongs to the Defense Force, after all. That's right! It's the transmission device you tried bugging me with last time! You modified it to record any messages it sent. 
But you never expected it to have already been modded by me! Now, across the entire Hollow, only our troops can communicate! Your dear comrades in the Defense Force are like headless flies right now! But they won't be waiting long. We'll send them to their deaths right after dealing with you! You're fooling yourselves, traitors! Leave these fools to me! I'll hold them off to buy you some time. Now, fake Faithen, please go help my lost allies. Run! I'll hold them off! Calculating emergency evacuation route. You can't get away! Catch that bamboo! We're no pushovers either. Calculating emergency evacuation route. I've detected the enemy signal has disappeared. Given the client's difficult situation, I suggest you get in touch with the defense force as soon as possible. You needn't worry. Get yourself there, and we can find a way out. This ejector should be useful. Extracting carrot data. No. Even if the contact station could try all the secret channels at once, there's too much static for us to hold down a signal. Suggestion. Abandon the existing Defense Force communication protocols and reestablish a new communication network. I can try to retrieve the Defense Force communications data left over from the previous two commissions and establish a temporary link. I thought that clear cache button was just for show. But this time, we really owe you one. All right, hurry up then. Military Communications Network Basic Edition uploaded. Things are tense right now. You can all thank me later. Oh, it worked. We've got a signal from outside. I see you. Who are you? Don't worry. I work with Soldier 11. Thanks to you, communications have been restored. I am aware of your cooperation with Soldier 11. We will reorganize our offensive on our own. Please hurry back to support Soldier 11. Going back the way we came is the fastest way to get to Soldier 11. But the road is packed with rebels, and we are alone. Don't worry. I'll do my best to cover you. You're going to join us? Are you coming now? Should I pick you up? That's not needed. As I said, I see you, and that's enough. Sniper trigger, in position. Please, feel free to move out. We're counting on you to save Soldier 11. I'll cover your return from here. I'll cover 
your advance. Looks like Soldier 11 fought here. This is worrying. We should hurry. You cannot pass! <sighs> the road is closed. We have to press both controllers at the same time. Give me a hand. They broke through the lock so quickly? Target locked. you should understand. Your little tricks are futile when faced with professional military teamwork. Uh, oh right. You don't get it. Because you're nothing but a despicable traitor. Chance, let's pursue. 
They're over there. Traitors, 12 o'clock. <laughs> the imposter is catching up. Why is this so difficult? I can't believe there's anyone in the world as incredible as Faith and... Yeah, I don't know what to believe anymore. I wasn't expecting a compliment. There's no escape. Your weapons are your life. You should be well aware that prisoners of war are taken good care of. Just give me the whereabouts of Mr. Mole, and I'll make sure you get the treatment you deserve. If... if that's what she says, Warrant Officer, they're real tough. We don't stand much chance with so little firepower. Warrant Officer is my old title. Under our banner of justice, we are all equal as comrades that we shall not cease in exposing war crimes. We shall not cease our march! True justice is on our- <sighs> Really? We're really gonna charge? <sighs> That's all we can do! Taking up arms gives us a chance, but casting them aside leads only to a dead end- How? How do you mean? Let me be straight with you. That first girl, the one called Soldier Eleven, I've heard of her before. I don't know when it started, but she really hates traitors. Rumors say, if she comes across anyone who betrays the Defense Force, well, they never leave the interrogation room alive. You mean, she off them? That, that, that can't be true. Her people make the paperwork airtight, of course. In any case, I don't want her catching me. Those hands, they've long been stained by the blood of her victims. No response yet. What should we do? I see. Seems like the only way to get them to listen is by force. Mr. Mole, do what you want with me. But them, please, send them to a military tribunal so they can at least get a fair trial. I think there's a misunderstanding. I'm a soldier, not a brute. Everyone, including you, is going to get court-martialed. You aren't going to hit me? I don't know what you've heard. As I recall, you've just confessed to being closely associated with Mr. Mole. Tell me where he went, and you all will have plenty of room to negotiate your sentences. The prisoners were stubborn, but they finally gave up the Mole's escape route. All those things he heard about you, are they true? Um, if it's okay to ask. You mean, about me disposing of rebels, soldiers follow their superior's orders. That includes orders not known to the public. In fact, the only thing shared publicly is the summer menu for the canteen. I did what I must, as a soldier. My loyal service doesn't require me to be a perfect and flawless individual. Do we have to keep discussing this? All that's left to do now is to chase down the mole. Lead the way, Proxy. Get 
Get ready! The showdown is near! Traitors are mine to punish! By the way, Soldier 11 left a message saying they evacuated. So, we're the only ones here right now. <laughs> Who's talking? It's not the same voice as fake faith in... Your scheme almost worked out, but you were wrong about two things. First, you underestimated the Soldier. Second, the truth is, we are the real faith in. Fairy is showing the size of the hollow rapidly getting smaller. We did what we came here for. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute! Help me! Lord Faithus, let me be your dog! <laughs> Everything has gone quiet. Finally over. Sorry, we went ahead earlier. Some of the prisoners can't stay in the hollow for long. What about your teammates? I thought we'd get to see them. I sent them back first. If we get the chance, Crimson Twilight, I hope to formally introduce all of you. I was impressed with your acting and your quick response, not to mention your skill as a proxy. To be honest, that's not my real name. I'm the real Faithin. The show's over. You acted the part well. I'm sure you'll be just as famous as Faithin one day. Well, I should be heading back. Perhaps I'll stop for some noodles along the way. I heard there's a super spicy noodle place nearby that's worth checking out. If that's so, then you should see me around here more often, Crimson Chili. Why are you... Please, call me Faithin. Hmm. Fake it till you make it, right? I think I get it. Goodbye, Faithin. I hope we can both have some good noodles tonight. <laughs> <laughs> 